Hello everyone! Today we're going to look at how to change fractions to decimals to percents and how to change percents back to decimals to fractions. We can make these changes easily by setting up a table with columns for fractions, decimals, and percents. We can remember this by thinking F, D, P, the first letters of each of these words. Let's take a look at our first example. We will take the fraction 3 fifths. Now, to change it to a decimal, we will divide the numerator by the denominator, and we will get 0 0.6. Now, to change this decimal to a percent, we will multiply it by 100, thereby moving the decimal place two times to the right, and we will get 60%. Let's start with a percent this time. Let's take 85%. And let's think, if to change from decimal to percent, we multiplied by 100, to change percent to decimal, we're going to have to divide by 100. So we're going to move its decimal place two times to the left, and we're going to get 0 0.85. Now, if we think about it, this is 85 hundredths. And now if we take this fraction and divide the numerator and the denominator by 5, we will reduce it to 17 twentieths. Let's do a little mini tutorial on how to change decimals to fractions. If we take, for example, 0 0.5, we know that this is 5 tenths. If we take 0 0.52, we know that this is 52 hundredths. You can see a pattern developing here, can't you? For every space after the decimal, we have one zero after the one. Here I have two spaces, I have two zeros. So I bet you you can guess what our next one's going to be. This would be 525 with a one there and with three zeros there. One zero for each place after the decimal. One, two, three. Now we'll start with the decimal, 0 0.125. Now remember, when we go from decimal to percent, we're going to multiply by 100. We will move the decimal place two times to the right. So we will have 12.5%. In going from the decimal to the fraction, if we look at the decimal, we see we have 125 thousandths, or 125, a 1 here, and 1 zero for each space after the decimal. To reduce this, we would divide the numerator and the denominator by 125 and get 1 eighth. In this next slide, pause the video, fill in the missing values, and then I will go over the answers. In the first row, 5 divided by 8 gives us 0. 625. If we take our decimal and we want a percent, we're going to multiply by 100, move the decimal two places to the right, and we will get 62.5%. In the second row, we have 0 0.95. The equivalent percent would be 95%. The fraction would be 95 over 100, and if we divide the numerator and the denominator by 5, we will reduce this to 19 over 20. And in the last row, we have 6%. We're going to move the decimal point two times to the left, and we will get 0 0.06 as a decimal, and this is 6 hundredths. To reduce this, we will divide numerator and denominator by 2, and we will get 3 over 50. Subscribe to my channel to get updates on new videos, and if you'd like me to create more, like and share with someone who might find this helpful. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.